We have been talking about culture. We have been talking about feelings and the hearts, building up emotions. But there's also the question of science and the complementary role of science and culture. And I wonder if Professor Günther Stock could give us a few words there on that. And I have a feeling that he has a surprise. Professor. Thank you. Um, I'm representing 54 academies in Europe, and Europe is meant as geographical and cultural Europe and not only the political unified Europe. Now, what I would like to present is three actions we consider to bring forward. And the reason for those actions starts from the questions we address to ourselves. What is Europe for us? And the second question we put forward, what can European scientists and especially scholars contribute to Europe's future? This was the starting point. Actually, we are not pessimistic. We consider Europe as a cultural, but especially as an intellectual unity. If I could speak in German, I would say it is eine geistige Einheit, which should not be underestimated. And this unity is characterized, among other things, by openness and by variety. And this sometimes puts a shadow on what we feel is lacking identity. But this variety is something which is of great value. And this is not a cultural, but it's also a scientific virtue which we have. And this entity has been for a long time, we know that, is, and we are convinced will be a reality and a basis, and a basis for all other political and social developments and decisions also in the future. It will have an impact on us, if we want it or not. Sometimes we accept that actual and current issues and challenges overshadow this fundamental truth. Now, in order to revitalize this truth, we propose three concrete actions, not only analysis, we want to have actions. The action which has probably the highest visibility is we want to create a European prize for European eminent scholars in social sciences and in humanities. And of course, we would like that the prize would be presented by President Rosso. It would be a biannual prize donated in the country where this eminent scholar comes from. The second layer there is that we would like to have a book series, a book series with a name, with a working title, which is, this is all in progress and started already, In Search of Europe, Discours Européen, and we would, for example, address things like boundaries of Europe, streamlining Europe, music and European integration, migration of people in Europe. These are the first titles in concrete preparation. The third layer is we would have symposia, in the capitals where the academies are situated, symposia on the topic of what does Europe mean to us. And it will not only be historical, it will be concrete and it will be actual. And we hope that certain ministers in Europe, for example, the Italian Minister for Science and the German Minister, will somehow sponsor these type of activities. So three concrete plans, how we can contribute to re arrive, revitalize what we need to have and what we want to have in Europe. Thank you. We also need to have the intelligence, the uh, contributions, the criticism, the imagination of artists, like as you mentioned, of men and women of culture to engage in this debate. By the way, let me thank you, Professor Stock, for your initiative. Let me tell that I will be more than happy and proud to participate if we find the right moment in the agenda. So that idea of the European Academies of Science to launch this kind of prize, the idea of your, your books, so if I can or the Commission can be associated with that, we will be more than happy to, to support it. Because I really believe this is one of the reasons why we can show that European means something. 